Hello, and welcome to the Open Dental webinar for messaging and messaging buttons. In this webinar, we'll, going, we'll be going through how messaging buttons work, how they're set up within the software, and general use on them for communication between front and back office, between providers and assistants. First and foremost, the messaging buttons and messaging elements will be kept in the manage module that you can see the little gear icon on the far left-hand side of the screen. The buttons themselves will be kept down beneath that. So you can see I've got a couple of them for Dr. Ryder, Dr. Baxter, Dr. Pepper, and so on. And we'll be creating a few new buttons as well as adding a couple new messaging elements to be used in the middle. Uh, the messaging elements usually go from users, which would be to and from users, extras, as well as messages to be sent to said user. In order to add more buttons or messaging elements to the system, I'm going to be going to set up at the top left of the screen into the manage option and messaging and messaging buttons show up on here respectively. Um, like I mentioned before, the buttons are on the left hand side and messaging is the actual messages themselves. I personally like to start with the messaging elements or the messages themselves. When I click on messaging, it will take me into the same screen that I had from the manage module where it shows the users extras and messages and I can add in as many new messages that I need. For my example, I'm going to be explaining that Dr. Pepper is no longer with the practice, so I'm going to be putting uh, two hygienists in place of Dr. Pepper and one of the blank ones that I have down below. I don't have Dr. Pepper listed as a user, so I've already removed them, but I do need to add in the two hygienists. So when I do that, I'm going to use the add button on the right hand side of the screen to add in a new user. When I click add, you'll see the type of option that I'm adding is up at the very top of the screen. So I've got my users, I've got extra and messages. Since this is going to be a hygienist, we're going to leave it as user and we're going to add in their name, uh, which is Drew. So Drew will be the first one that we are adding. If I wanted to add a sound element or sound option to this, there is a sound section in the middle of the screen here. There is the ability to import a sound that's already created. We actually have extra sound files on our website that should be linked down in the description. Uh, or if it's not, you can go onto our manual page for messaging elements. And there is a sound.zip file that is on that page that can be downloaded with the sounds to be used. So if you were to download them, the import option is where you would use that and you would just select them from the computer wherever they're stored. Or if you wanted to get it more customized, you can record your own using the Record New or Windows Recorder if you have a compatible microphone that Windows recognizes. For the sake of the example, I'm not going to be adding many sounds to mine, uh, aside from the ones that might already be assigned to some of the doctors. But I will be adding light rows and colors that will light up the buttons on the side of the screen. For Drew, I'm going to be repurposing Dr. Pepper on the side here. Uh, so we're going to use that button in place and we're going to replace the name to Drew here in a moment. The light row is where that button falls on this left hand side. So my first button technically would is not uh, filled in, so I don't have a blank one. So that would be one. Dr. Ryder would be two. Dr. Baxter, three. And Dr. Pepper that I'm going to be reusing is four. So light road that I'm going to be putting on here for Drew is four. The light color would be associated with the user themselves. And I will give Drew a orange color just to make it stand out from the other doctors. Once I have my sound and light color in place, I'm going to click OK at the bottom right to save my changes. When you're adding in options, whether it be users, extras, or messages, uh, you can use the up and down arrows to reorganize the list if I want providers to be in the same area. So let's say that I wanted all the doctors and hygienists at the top and then assistant and front underneath. So I'm going to bump Drew up one spot by clicking on the up button to bump them up. We're going to be adding in our second hygienist, which is going to be for Sarah. Sarah will also be in the same vein of a user. So we're going to leave the type as user. We've added Sarah's text. Uh, again, I can import a sound as needed. We're going to be using the button that's right beneath Dr. Pepper. So we're going to do light row five. 
and we'll set a nice little teal color for Sarah to use. Once again, once I've done it, I'm going to click OK at the bottom right to save my changes, and I'm going to bump Sarah up next to Drew when I'm viewing this list. The other thing I want to add in my examples here is an emergency button. So let's say that I wanted to add an emergency option that will show up beneath my phone assist on the left here, as well as a message that I can use to send that. Again, I'm going to click add. This time the type will be for message instead of user and the text will be emergency. If I had a sound, I could import it. My light row is going to be the next option that will be available. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that will be option number nine. So I'm going to assign light row nine to that, even though I don't have the button yet, but I'm going to create it here in a moment. The light color will set to something red. That way it stands out since it is supposed to be an emergency option. Now that I have everything in place, I can close out of this screen. And if I needed to re uh, refresh the module to see my changes, I can leave that by going to the appointments and going back and you'll be able to see my updated options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the setup option, I'm going to go into manage again, and we're going to be adding the buttons now. When I go into messaging buttons, there's two columns for the buttons themselves on the right and for which computer they're affecting on the left. The first option that you have is all computers, and by default, that's usually what you would want to have. Uh, you can specify whether they show up for just specific computers or not, but most of the time they'll be showing up for all computers, and this is where I'm going to be making my changes. Like I mentioned before, this Dr. Pepper one we're going to repurpose, and this is going to be for Drew now. So all I have to do is double click on it and change the text that shows up to Drew instead of Dr. B. There is an option beneath that for a sync icon. The sync icon shows up at the top left of Open Dental when you are viewing Open Dental in general. There is a three by three grid, so technically nine options in, in total that would light up accordingly uh, chronologically. So the top left would be one, top middle is two, and top right is number three. Since Drew is going to be on the fourth option, I could have the sync icon set to option number four. That way it would light up that option respectively. You are able to also assign specific users, extras, and messages to the buttons if you prefer. I'm not going to be doing that in this example, but you do have the ability to set it if needed. Once everything is in place, I'm going to click OK, and that will update my button. Since I want to use the button right beneath that for Sarah, I'm going to double click on number five here. Same thing, I'm going to change the text to Sarah, and my sync icon will be number five. Again, I'm not going to assign Sarah specifically, but I could if I wanted to. And I'm going to click OK to create the button. You'll see that for the other buttons I have down below for Patient Ready and Phone Assist, those do have specific messages applied. And since I'm going to be adding an emergency option, I am going to assign the message for that on number nine here. Again, when I double click on number nine, my text is going to be set to emergency. So let's add that. My sync icon is going to be number nine since it's the ninth button available. And the message that will be assigned will be the emergency message that I added earlier. Once that's completed, I'm going to again click OK. And you'll see emergency show up and in parentheses the message that's assigned with it. Now that I've added the elements and the buttons, I can show how they will be tied together and how they will be viewable when you're using messaging itself. The messaging will be found in the manage module at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, let's say, for example, that Dr. Ryder has a call uh, on line two. So I'm going to say Dr. Ryder. It's from the front desk because front desk will usually be reception. And let's say it's their spouse calling them on line two. When I select the line two option, it will automatically send the message out for me. And because it's assigned to Dr. Ryder, it will light up Dr. Ryder on the button on the side there. So you can see it's lit up in Dr. Ryder's color 
as well as a message that shows up in the message history. If Dr. Ryder wanted to acknowledge the message, they could either click on the button on the left-hand side of the screen or select the message from message history and click the acknowledge button right above that. Once the message is acknowledged, it will be removed from the message history and the color will be removed from the button respectively. If I needed to see previous messages, there is a button to include acknowledged where you would be able to see the past messages that have been sent out. Since we've added Drew, let's say that Drew also needs to be seen in a certain operatory. When I select Drew, I don't have to select a from user or an extra. I could just select Drew and the op that they need to go to. So let's say op three. And when it sends that message, again, the message will show up in the message history and Drew will be lit up. So Drew to op three and it lights up Drew's button respectively. Again, if I wanted to click on the button itself, so let's say that Drew was acknowledging it from their computer, when I click on it, it will decolor the button immediately and the message will di disappear from the message history soon after. Also, since we've added an emergency button, I can also just click on the emergency message for it to send out immediately. I don't have to select a user or an extra for that. I can just click the button and it will send. Since I don't have any sound elements with this, no, no audio is going to play, but the message will be sent and the emergency button will light up at the bottom. I can keep that lit for as long as I need to until the message is acknowledged. So if it was an ongoing emergency, I might leave that lit up for the time being until things have cleared up. If I needed to send a custom message, there is a message box at the very bottom of the screen where I can type in whatever custom message I need to relay. That custom message will also show up in the message history and can also be acknowledged much like regular messages. That is the ins and outs of messaging and messaging buttons. As I mentioned before, there will be a link in the description for extra sound files if you wish to utilize that, as well as uh, other resources available for messaging. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.